Music could be heard throughout Kiev's Borispol International Airport today. Guests had the chance to get acquainted with one of Ukraine's most famous national instruments, the bandura. Sirhi Zaharitz said that the bandura is not only unique, but its popularity is booming. The Ukrainian bandura was played by Ukrainian bards. They performed traditional Ukrainian songs. I'm very glad that the instrument is becoming popular again, as it allows Ukrainians to remember the music of their ancestors. In honor of Defender of Ukraine Day, the Kiev Bandurist Capella Ensemble is greeting guests and passengers with traditional songs. The majority of these works used to be forbidden due to their calls for Ukrainian independence. The only reason they have survived until today is that they were passed down from one generation to the next. This is our history, our culture. The amazing lyrics show the music that was written on the front lines and in trenches while fighting for the freedom and independence of Ukraine. These songs are lyrics and military marches, which are intertwined with love and patriotism. In addition to the bandura, Ukrainian art was also on display. Thanks to the exhibition by artist Andriy Otanyuk, visitors had the chance to glance into the everyday life of ancient Ukrainians. The artist's work blends elements of folk art, symbolic expressionism, and modern aesthetic, creating a unique view of Ukrainian folklore. Andriy strayed from academic boundaries in his art. He chose his own form of mythological heroes. He differs from traditional artists and his work is unique. Museums are honored to have his paintings in their collections. The symbiosis of paintings and music provided the airport's guests the chance to see how Ukraine honors its defenders on the eve of their national holiday, the 14th of October.